Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Reconciling is the process of ensuring that your checking account record in QuickBooks matches the bank statement of the account. Reconciling your checking account is a very good habit to get into because it allows you to spot bank errors and avoid overdraft fees. When reconciling accounts, the goal is to make your bank statement and your account balance within QuickBooks match. While you will most commonly reconcile your checking account, you can actually reconcile several different types of accounts if desired, such as other asset accounts, for example. To begin reconciling an account, select Banking from the menu bar and then choose the Reconcile command. In the Begin Reconciliation window, first select which account you want to reconcile from the Account drop-down. Then enter the Statement Date for the bank statement of the account you are reconciling with your QuickBooks account. Then enter the Ending Balance from your bank's account statement. Next, enter any service charge or interest earned shown on the bank statement but not yet recorded in QuickBooks. To record service charges, enter the amount of the service charges into the Service Charge field. Then select the date that the service charges were assessed from the adjacent Date Calendar selector. You can then use the adjacent Account drop-down to select the account that is used to track service charge amounts, such as bank service fees. If the account has gained interest, enter the amount of interest earned, as shown on the bank statement, into the Interest Earned field. As with service charges, you then enter the date that the interest was earned into the adjacent date field and then select the income account that is used to track income from the adjacent account drop-down. Now in QuickBooks, you have a Locate Discrepancies button that you can click to launch the Locate Discrepancies dialog box. Here you can click the Discrepancy Report button to view a report that shows any changes to previously cleared transactions from prior account reconciliations. This can be a useful tool for locating data entry errors that can cause reconciliation problems. You can also click the Previous Reports button to select a type of reconciliation report to run. This report will show the transactions that were marked as cleared from your last reconciliation. Also notice the Undo Last Reconciliation button at the bottom of the Locate Discrepancies and Begin Reconciliation windows. Now if you click the Undo Last Reconciliation button, QuickBooks will undo everything from the last account reconciliation for the selected account. Note that this is an extreme move, and doing it will completely unreconcile the last account reconciliation that you performed on the selected account. Now if you're still viewing the Locate Discrepancies window, you can return to the Begin Reconciliation screen by clicking the Restart Reconciliation button. Now in the Begin Reconciliation window, you click the Continue button to view the Reconcile window. In the Reconcile window, you place check marks next to the appropriate withdrawals and deposits within this screen that also appear within your bank statement to mark them as being cleared. As you do this, the difference that is shown in the lower right corner of the screen will slowly approach zero. If you try to reconcile the account and the difference amount shown is not zero, you may have to enter an adjustment transaction that modifies the QuickBooks account balance so that it will agree with the bank statement. You will still have to account for the difference later though, so a better idea is to instead try and find the discrepancy between the check register and your bank statement and then correct it. Now, if needed, you can exit a reconciliation by clicking the Leave button at the bottom of the Reconcile window. This will not affect the checks and deposits that you have marked as being cleared. 
you can return later by simply choosing Banking and then Reconcile from the menu bar. However, you will need to re-enter the information in the Begin Reconciliation screen again and click Continue to return to this reconciliation window. Now when you are done in the reconciliation window and the difference displayed is zero, you can then click the Reconcile Now button to finish the account reconciliation. At this point, a dialog box will appear which allows you to print a reconciliation report if you would like one. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.